Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. As you guys could tell, I am outside and back in my shed. Today is cleaning season, or well, cleaning day, you could say. Um, today's cleaning day, guys, so we have a bunch of stuff that we have to clean. We have to clean five round tables, about 20 um, rectangular tape on um, tables, about 150 chairs, one, two, three, four, five, about six jumper units. I'm also gonna show you guys a brand new jumper unit that I just received, guys. Um, pretty badass unit i don't think anybody here in la has a unit like the one that i just purchased um i did rent it out this week first time people were super super excited they were all like oh my god it's a 3d car this and that so stay tuned for that guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys but for right now i want to go ahead and say thank you guys for you know supporting my channel also thank you guys for you know subscribing for uh, following me on instagram for doing whatever you guys do um it's super super cool um so right now I am gonna go ahead and show you guys what I've been working with, what I've been doing, and I'm just gonna come along with us, guys. I also added two new guys to our team. Um, and this is like, I'll, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about it, but um, for right now, let me go ahead and um, show you guys what I'm doing. And once my boy comes over, we're gonna go ahead and talk and explain to you guys what are we trying to do and what are we, um, what big things are coming in the future for Junior's party rentals and his party rentals as well. So with that being said, guys, Hope you guys stay tuned. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. You guys can see, guys. It's coming up. It's coming up. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Dun. There it goes, guys. Our three D monster truck. Okay. Super, super amazing. It is 3D, guys, as you guys can tell. It's non detachable, so it stays here forever as long as I want it to stay here. Excuse all this mess right here, guys. But I don't think I'm set today. So, you know, this unit does consist of a sizing of 17 by 17 out of iron. The slide. 42 foot high, really nice. Single slide. It does come with a detachable pool, detachable stopper, but right now, since I'm cleaning it, I just tied it up. The exit hole, let me take you guys inside real quick. So, here we did do two pop ups, as you guys can see, a couple pop ups. We did get a, a entrance that leads to the slide, really nice. As you guys can tell. Netting all around, even on top for good airflow. As I always say, I like it for the kids. Especially right now, you know, kids tend to sneeze, this and that. So, you know, it gets, uh, once a little bit of air blows, pushes the drums out. This consists of a basketball hoop. Pretty nice. Pretty nice basketball hoop. And um, yeah, this is a jumper all around. Inside, so kids can come in, tackle, play boxing, whatever you want to do with these two pop-ups that we did out here. And um, I'll tell you guys where I got this unit at. And um, yeah, you guys can go ahead and contact the manufacturer that I bought from. And just tell them that sent you guys. Look at the color combination. Really cool, man. So let's go outside and show sure. something new that we did add. There's a tow hitch for my truck right here. You guys can tell. Finally, my truck has a tow hitch. Yes, sir. No more using my family truck. Thank God. But it still has a tow hitch. Yes, sir. So, as you guys just seen, that was my 17 by 17 brand new combo jumper, wet and dry unit. Um, I did purchase this specific unit from Dolphin Jumpers, my friends at um, Dolphin Jumpers. The owner from Dolphin Jumpers is Salvador. You guys could go ahead. I'm gonna leave his link down below so you guys could go ahead and send him a message. Be like, hey, I'm interested. I seen a jumper, a specific jumper on Junior's party rentals. Let me put on my shoes. And um, yeah, guys, pretty nice unit. Nobody has it here in LA. Um, and if they have it here, it's probably somewhere far in the IE or something like that. But um, damn, it's super hot. That's why I'm wearing this gorro right here. Sheesh. But um, yeah, guys, like I'm telling you guys, um, big things are coming to Junior's party rentals and my other boys' party rentals. We're colliding, we're um, combining um, 
knowledge you could say i help him out he helps me out As you guys could tell i'm no longer going to be using my yukon no more i'm gonna be using specifically my silverado due to the fact that i'm messing up my units guys i'm not my unit i'm messing up my trucks so um yeah that that yukon that i have is supposed to be a family truck but i'm using it as a work truck now but uh i am going to leave it parked now i am going to go ahead and change out the rug and the headliner on that specific truck um for meanwhile right now that silverado is going to be the one that's going to be pulling and you know picking up dropping off doing my hauls whatever i have to do um yeah i decided to go um and buy that tow hitch so i bought the tow hitch for that specific um truck because he didn't come with it so i it, it was kind of a, a difficult situation for me finding that tow hitch for that specific truck but um hey it is what it is i went ahead and found it and now we have it connected so right now let me show you guys some other units that i have once i pick them up i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera and show you guys what i have and um well, how do I clean my units basically? Because a lot of you guys have been asking me, hey, how do you clean your new units? I'm also gonna show you guys how I fold this new 17 by 17 combo jumper. Um, a lot of you guys have been like, hey, how heavy is it? Is it this, is it that? And to be honest, guys, it's not heavy at, at all. Uh, I'm already used to combo units, so it's kind of the same thing, just a different format, how it is, you could say, a different uh, different shape, but hey, it's just a big square. But uh, let me go ahead and roll it up and I'm gonna go ahead and record myself rolling it up and show you guys how I do it and you know maybe you guys could do it better than me or follow how I do it whatever it is but um let's go
Here goes our beautiful backyard combo. Also can be used as a wet and dry unit. Beautiful compact jumper. This is our top renter. Really, 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 really good money making here, guys. Let's check out how it came back from the inside. Let's go. So now we're gonna let it go. We're basically gonna let it air out, dry out. And after I go ahead and clean and give it a nice wipe down. But to be honest, when units come back wet, this is what I let them do. I just let them dry out for like cool 20, 30 minutes. Because if you don't let them dry out, guys, and you can just wipe them down, the thread is still wet. All this thread is still wet. Nigga. You guys could tell. There's still like a puddle of water there, a puddle of water right there. So that will make your unit stink. So let it dry out, guys. Like right now, you could just pass a rag over it, over the little puddles, take them out, but let the, let the sun do its magic. Thank God, look at the sun's right there. You know, let the sun do his magic. So let it out, air out for 30 minutes. Then I'll come back and connect with you guys so you guys can see the end result. It is not, it is not too bad. As you guys can tell right here, it looks faded. Due to the fact that water has been sitting on the, on the vinyl, so it's nice and wet. But once the sun burns it, the colors will come back to being a dark blue. Look, as you guys can tell right here, all right here, it's all like uh, like baby blue. It's okay. We'll go ahead and let the sun do its magic, as I said. And then I'll connect with you guys. So here's what we do. Spray.
basically here, as you guys seen already, we pressure washed it. We're just letting the center is magic, dry up all the unit. So it did came back dirty, but this unit we did have it booked like crazy this past weekend. So right now we're just waiting for it to dry out. Tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and clean the tarps. Um, those, these two units that you guys see here, they're not mine. They're actually my buddies. I have a party rental. But um, I'm storing his stuff here for right now. But yeah, as you guys can tell, um, it is just really, really, really dirty. Right now we're just going to the center of the house. Like, kind of not too crazy. We're gonna go ahead and wait. We're gonna wait it out, maybe another 20 minutes, and after we're gonna go ahead and attach the pool, clean the pool, then roll up the jumper, and they'll be ready for Saturday. But that being said, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys what, how we roll it and how we attach the pool. So, do you guys know, want to know what's sad, man, and what's really getting to me right now? That I have a damn neighbor, I know who it is, that has called social services on me, that has called. Uh, I don't know the city on me because I'm running a business from my house. Um, I have a neighbor that she doesn't like to see me for nothing. I I don't know what in the hell have I done to this specific neighbor, guys. But um, I grew up on the street where I'm at. I grew up on the street, guys. And um, it just bothers me, man, that um, somebody that's trying to change their life around, you know, um, who's there for their kids no matter what, um, who supplies for a whole family, who helps out his parents, who helps out his brothers and sisters, who helps out his grandparents, who helps out everybody trying to join this industry, who helps out people who need advice, who's always there no matter what time, date, no matter where you're at, you know, I'm always one call away, guys. And it's super sad that a person like this um, could, could almost ruin my life, guys, because to be honest, um, I don't know, guys, but I feel like I'm gonna get some, one of these days, they're gonna come raid my house. I already know. Uh, I have that gut feeling, guys, that one day in La Madrugada, they're gonna come knock down my door. And uh, you know, when you have that feeling, guys, I have that feeling right now. Uh, just because of the simple fact that, just because one person who hates on you uh, goes ahead and snitches on you. First of all, she was saying that, um, I'm saying she because it is a lady, um, that I had somebody living back here and sent this story shit. Like, come on, can you guys tell this storage shit is nothing but a storage? Where do you see a bed? Where do you see somebody sleeping? It's dumb. And also, they're saying that uh, the noise from the blowers um, can't let them concentrate. Like, you're never even here. You live across the street from me. It's stupid, you know? Um, my back neighbors, I know it's not them because they have illegal stuff themselves. And I could go ahead and talk all about it, you know? But I don't want to go ahead and burn anybody out, guys. But I'm just to the point like, damn, you know, do I want to keep doing this party rental business? So what should I do to avoid problems, guys? Because to be honest, that's the last thing I want right now is problems. Uh, she, last time they said that I had firearms in the house. Yeah, I do have firearms, but they're under my name. Uh, so go for it, call them. And uh, remember one time my cousin was one of them that was um, low key. Um, he was trying to try and hit me with a, with a sledgehammer across my face so he swung it to my face he swung it and uh, he swung it to my face and me to protect myself i went to grab my firearm and things didn't end too well guys but imagine with my own cousin now imagine with a stranger i mean here where i live at yeah it's watts or whatever you gotta stay protected guys and like i'm telling you guys uh there's been times that i hear that somebody's trying to like you know jump over or the dogs start barking out of nowhere, like straight to the back or on the side. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You protect your family, protect yourself, protect anybody that you love and that's around you. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I'm telling you guys, I don't know what's up with this neighbor. I feel like just going and knock on our door. Boom, 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 boom. Like, what's the deal, man? Like, what the hell have I done to you? The only thing that I have may maybe done to her is just move her trash cans when there's no parking in the street. You guys know that right now, a lot of people, they tend to save their damn parking spots. A la verga. I mean, the streets, the streets free, you know, for anybody to park there to use, you know, it's, it's something for the public. I understand if it's inside your house, but it's not inside their house, you know, that I'm parking. I'm parking on the damn street. But um, yeah, guys, you guys can tell I'm kind of pissed off right now. But I do have a feeling, guys, I do have that little gut feeling that I'm probably going to get raided sooner than later. 
Um, they're probably probably gonna come knock on, knock down my door or whatever. All they're gonna find is jumpers and tables and chairs, guys. Because I really don't do anything. But it's it's it, it's funny, man. You know, I don't know what else to think, man. But this person is really trying to ruin my life, like stupid. But yeah, I just want to tell you guys what's going on with me right now. But um, I do need a haircut, so I'm gonna go get a haircut with my boy Benny at B Cuts. But let me go ahead and show you guys the unit right now, how we have it. Um, I'm just waiting for the pool just to dry out, so let me go ahead and show you guys. As you guys can tell, it is already dry from the back. Super dry. Nice. Nice and dry. The two units. This is my backyard combo. So this is my race car right here. I already rolled it nice and tight. Let's show you guys. What's the unit looking like? It looks really, really, really nice. So now we're going to the pool dry up. Then after, once it dries up, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down with a towel. Just going for it to get a little bit drier. So there it goes. There it goes. I'm going to wear this one up and follow the day, guys. So I'll still show you guys you know, how we roll up or whatever. But after that, it'll be a wrap until tomorrow. So let's do it.